Hello FG fam and welcome to another episode of the Bat Breakers franchise here on Super Mega Baseball 3. Today we have three games for you, so get ready, sit back, relax, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, join the FG fam for the love of franchise content, that is all we do here. And we could build a winner together as Ruby Moon starts us off in the game against the Blackjacks. A team inspired by some of Blackjack's legends and created players in some of his draft classes, and they get us on the double play. So we go to the bottom of the first. Nice hit there as Ruby Moon cannot make the play. They have two on with one away. And look at this. The throw over the double steal is complete by the Blackjack. So they have a really good chance here as the bases are bombed. But it is going to be a ground into the double play there by Drapamatsu. Here's a hit into left field, and this one is a beautiful sliding catch by a brother named Keith. Run, fat ass, run, coming to the plate, and Rigaborte Ramirez is going to get him to strike out for out number three. That'll move us to the top of the third. Here's a hit, quad X, quad X, with the throw over to Mike is muted, and that is the final out of the top half of the third. Here's a hit up the middle, and that one is definitely going to get into the outfield and past Ruby Moon, as that'll be an easy double. He rounds second, goes to third, and safe at third. Giving a prime scoring chance here for the Blackjacks. Here's a hit. Beautiful diving play by Christian Nero. And a nice throw on to first to save the run. Here, though, the Blackjacks again attempting to score. Here's the throw home and out at the plate. What a throw from Ruby Moon. Keeps it scoreless going into the sixth. Here's a hit into left field. That one's going to drop with one away. And we are going to get the first run of the game. A 1-0 lead. Here's a whack into left field. That'll drop in front of a brother named Keith and be a 2-0 lead for our bat breakers. This one over to Quadex. Quadex, he throws on to first, and they will get out of the inning without giving up any more runs. Another nice dive from Christian Nero, but he cannot make the complete stop there. So they get one on, and then a beautiful strikeout from Ramirez. So here, still drop a Matsu into right. She gets the hit. That is going to provide runners on the corners here, and we are going to go ahead. That'll be it for Ramirez. We are going to bring in... Tito Flavors with a chance to get the hold over. Here's the hit over to third. That's going to be thrown on to second. And first for the double play. We prevent any more runs from coming. Any runs from coming on. Flavors makes the catch for out number one in the bottom of the seventh. Here's a fly ball behind the plate. And Smirnov makes that play. And now Andy Shepard is the last chance. And Shepard right over to Cinco Ocho for the final out of the game. The Bat Breakers get the win against the Blackjacks. It's their first win of the season. As you know, they lost um, quite handedly there in the Moonlight Swamis game. So, good play here. We get a lot of good timely hitting in that one inning to pick up two runs and take the lead. Riga, Rigaborte, he did an awesome job. Rogaborte Ramirez. God, I got to say these names correctly. Anyways, we are 1-1 one and one and moving through. Huskers with a big win. Hurricanes with a win. Reapers. Pythons win big. Burglars steal a win. Another big win for the Reapers. The Huskers get a loss there. There's a win for the Craniacs. They're looking really good. The Poggers are looking really good as well as the Legends. Some really good-looking teams out there. But now we have to worry about the Man Traps. Luca Case on the mound for them. We have Madam Elmers. So we're going to do some switching here with the lineup. Blazer Wolf not really feeling great. We will bring in Cool Man Joe. We're going to bring in Hill, and we're going to bring in Avatar Ang. So we are going to bring quite a different lineup to the field in this game. This is going to be interesting to see what these backup players can really do with the starters not really feeling it for today. So hopefully we can get some timely hitting again in this game. We'll see what ends up happening. They have their bottom of their order is looking really out of it, but... 
the top half of their order looking pretty good, so hopefully we can keep them down. Here's Ruby Moon to lead off, and she will strike out right away for out number one. Still here in the top half of the first. This one is back, 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 and it is gone. Wow, barely getting there, but it is a home run nonetheless. We can't complain. Look at that top of the wall distance. And Cinco Ocho, second bomb of the year. He had that grand salami in the Moonlight Swami game. There's a strikeout to get them out of the first, though. Here's a nice strikeout as Madam Elmer's looking good early on. Now we go top three. This one's going back, back, but not to the wall. Warning track power. Here's Ruby Moon. She smacks one into left field, and that one all the way up to the wall. Garza makes the play there. So now another shot. This one is roped into right field. That'll hit the wall, and that's going to be a double. So we get one on here on second in scoring position for Jackson Jangalang with two away, and Jangalang just going to fly out to the pitcher. Nothing too great there. So we go bottom four. Here's the man traps, and Roger Dodger gets under this one for the second out of the inning, but they will move fourth. The runner from second to third. They have runners on the corners here with a chance. It's Tatum Garza up, and she is just going to fly one over to Roger Dodger. He makes the play, and we move along to the fifth. Now bottom fifth, Madam Elmer still in this game. Roger Dodger is not going to slide for that one. It drops right in front of him, and they have the leadoff batter on. Here, going up the middle, and that is going to get through to center field. So two on with nobody away. This is getting dangerous. And Rex Lopez at the plate. Up the middle, it is good. Ruby is going to come up throwing home and guns the man. Oh, it looked like she was going to gun him down, but the catcher drops it. So it is going to tie the game at one. Here's Cool Man Joe coming, and he will make the play for out number one. Madam Elmer still on this mound. There's Prost. He comes up. This one is really high up there, and Klassen going to make the play there. So with two away, pressure still very high in this inning, and Oldie over to Cinco Ocho. Beautiful diving stop, and Elmer's covers. So there's all three outs there. We move to the sixth inning. Now bottom six after our hitters. Can't get the job done. Ang, nice tag. Nice throw to first for the double play. And now here she is again. And redemption time for Garza as she hits the wall and right. That's a double for her. And that's a runner in scoring position with two out for Mayo. And class and nice shoestring grab. So now in the top of the seventh, Poggington gets the hit up the middle, and he will sit on first with one away in this seventh inning. Here's Jason Klassen with a chance. He's going to rope one in the left. So two on, one away. We have a big chance here to bring home the leading run, and Ruby Moon is going to rope one over to Lopez for out number two. Pressure cooking situation here. We need Cinco Ocho to come up big, and he does. The hit up the middle. We're sending him home. Coming from third. We are safe, and it is a two-to-one ball game. Here's a hit over, and Stark with a brilliant layout grab. But now you know what time it is. It's Waltita's snowman time. And he coming in. That's going to be a fly ball. Avatar Ang waves it off, makes the catch for out number one. So now Walty throwing, and a lovely strikeout from Walty to Snowman. Arsenio Cannon, the last chance for the man traps, and there it is. Ball drops right in front of Cool Man Joe. They get their man on here. Scott Pros is the winning run. They attempt to steal, and he is gunned down at second. Bat Breakers win. A second straight win this episode. The Bat Breakers go to above 500 at 2 and 1. Cinco Ocho 3 for 3 with a homer and two ribbies on the afternoon. Madam Elmers with six innings of one run ball. And they are the one and two star of the game, respectively. Luca Case, the third star of the game, but just not enough to bring his team a dub. There's the Crows over the Machos. Gotta watch out, them Crows pulling their first win of the year. 
Cockatoos get a win as well. We are now going to face the Father Chizes, made up of legends from a lot of my franchises. So that is going to be a rough team to come up against here for the last game this episode. Jangalang not feeling so good. So we're going to bring in a new DH. Probably, you know what, we might go Christian Nero here. Eh, we'll let Wolf go DH. And, eh, Avatar's looking pretty good, though. He's got a lot of contact. He can't hit for power, though. Uh, I think we'll make that change. Get Smirnov back in there at catcher. Gotta set this game up the right way to give it our best chance. So, we have center field covered. First base covered, right field, left field. Mm, cool man, Joe. Yeah, I guess we'll leave him. So that's what we're going to go with. You can see their lineup. Asa Gibson, Renoy Thorne, Daquan Bodden, Darian Bond, Benson Connor. A lot of big time stars from some past franchises on the channel. And right away with two outs in the top of the first. Roger Dodger makes the catch for the final out. Here's Cinco Ocho. Strike two is late. And here's the hit up the middle. Cinco Ocho on the two strike count. Coming through in the clutch. Putting a runner on base. Here's a hit. That's going up the center as well. With just one away, we got two on. Could we bring home a run here possibly? Here's Wolf. They're going to go double play ball, and they're going to get it. That sucks for us. So up comes the Father Chizes, and Bo Tatum going to hit one shallow right, and Ang will make the play there for the final out. Now to the bottom of the second. This one's given a ride to deep left center field all the way into the actual corner. That's going to be a double. Love to see that. Punch Poggington up with his 500 average, and this is shallow left field, and under it makes the catch for Vincent Connor. That is the final out of that inning. Here's a hit into right center field. That's going to be a gapper for them, and with one away, they will easily have a runner on second. He's going for third, and he will get there. So a triple will bring up Renoy Thorne, and Thorne hits this one deep to center. Ruby Moon will make the catch, but the tag up is the key. They will score their first run and the first run of the ball game. There's a ball, now top three for Daquan Bodden. He ropes one and not able to make the catch is Klassen. Ruby Moon can't even pick it up, and he's going to step into second with a double. So Darion Bond batting 455 this year, and he's going to rope one into right field. That'll make it runners on the corners. Two away here for Vincent Connor, who's not even batting well on the season. And we will get the third out of the third to get us out of there. Only one run given up, surprisingly. But then in the fourth, they come back for more. That's over the wall, a home run. And the father Chizes taking more of a lead. 437 foot bomb for Keon Wild. His second homer of the year already. So the father Chizes go up 2 0. Now here on an inside pitch, he's going to get jammed, but it is going to be a single on a lovely little bloop. So with a runner on and two away, Asa Gibson comes up and he has hit one deep to right field. Roger Dodger doesn't have time to get there. Ruby Moon will get it, but it is too late. It is a triple and a 3-0 lead for the Father Chizes. Here's Renoy Thorne. He's going to pull one into left, and that is going to land in front of Cool Man Joe. That single will make it 4-0. So now Daquan Bodden to the plate with two away and one on first and this one is in the range for Cinco Ocho to make the play and he will get there. So now we have a chance here and a nice gapper right there is going to put a runner on second base with two away in the bottom of the fourth. Here this one's yanked into left center field. That one will drop. That'll be an easy double and there we go with a runner on second. It is four to one. Still another chance to bring that run home. Avatar Ang hits it in the left, and we will leave it. Runners on the corners for Punch Poggington, and he will strike out. Can't make contact. He destroyed that bat, though. 
Now Vents and Connor up with a very low average, but he gets a hit here. A much needed one for the Father Chizes, and that is going to do it for Rick Reynolds Day. We are going to bring in Polar Eclipse. Now here's a whack into center field. Ruby Moon will chase it down for out number one, but it will make it runners on the corners as one runner advances. So now this one is roped into the left center field gap. It gets past Cool Man Joe all the way to the wall. That's an easy run scored as in fact two are going to score on that double, making it six to one. Still in the top of the fifth, trying to get out of this inning. That one's very weakly grounded, and Poggington will throw on to first for out number two, but it will score another run. Now here, this one's headed deep. Deep, Ruby Moon giving chase to the wall, and it is gone. No way of bringing that one back. Asa Gibson's second home run of the year, and his fifth RBI makes it 9-1. Father Chizes in the top of the sixth. This one's roped, and that one will hit the wall. Cool Man Joe trying to run it down. It's going to be an easy run scored. In fact, two. Make it 11-1, Father Jizes. This one's hit deep to left center field as well. That one is caught, though, by Ruby Moon. However, the tag up from third will score, making it 12-1. We are just getting obliterated. Royal Poison in the game at this point. And that one's hit deep to right, and that is gone as well as that one hits the rail of right field, 393 feet for Renoy Thorne's second homer and fourth ribby of the year. So a lot of guys, second home run for the Father Chaz is coming in this game. This one's roped out to left, and it is gone off the foul pole in left. Avatar Ang gets himself a solo shot. His first homer and first ribby of the year, 356 feet, but it is not enough to help our bat breakers as we drop this one 13 to two. An absolute destruction. When we lose, we give up a ton of runs. Look at all the hits by the Father Chizes. The only guy that didn't get at least two hits was Bo Tatum. Asa Gibson, Keon Wild, and Renoy Thorne, all the stars of the game. For the Father Chizes, the Poggers continue to play well. Blackjack's playing well. We are their only loss currently. As we continue to look at the rest of the league, the Crows over the Father Chizes. Father Chizes have not been very good, but we could not handle them. We are currently 2-2 two and two, and two games out of the Western Conference Central Division behind the Legends. So, taking a look at some of the development here, Bopus' hand started sweating more than usual, so his junk went up. Klassen won an arm wrestling competition, so he got more arm. So, some guys are developing. We will take on the Griffins starting next episode off. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please let me know in the comments section and by dropping a like on this video. If you're new to the channel at all, join the FG fam by clicking that subscribe button. Do so for the love of franchise sports because that is all we do here. And we can build a winner together. Thank you all, and I'll see you next time. I feel you face somehow.